you are very welcome to day seven of this yin yoga bedtime challenge if you've made it out to your yoga mat every day for a full week well done it really is a great achievement and if you haven't don't worry you are so welcome to just do the series at your own pace for this session, we will be fully reclined, so it's going to be a really nice, relaxing yin yoga practice. You will need a yoga block or two, and if you have a yoga bolster at home, you're welcome to incorporate that into your practice as well. I'll let you know how you can add it into some of these poses. We'll begin lying down, of course, so you can come to lie on your yoga mat keeping your blocks nearby. <laughs> and once you're there, just take a moment to rest in corpse pose. Arms and legs taking up lots of space, palms facing up. Allow the weight of your body to drop into the earth. Loosen up your jaw. Soften your facial muscles. Feel yourself breathing in and breathing out. Our first yin yoga pose is reclined butterfly. So you're welcome to do this pose with or without a yoga block. If you do want to use a block, you can place it in underneath your lower back now, somewhere where it's supporting both your back and your tailbone. And once you've found that sweet spot, you can bring the soles of your feet together. And if you're not using a block here, that's fine. You can just be lying flat on the mat. underneath your spine now, having it lengthways along the mat. So once you've figured out all your props, we're just committing to stillness and silence for the next three minutes.
you can ask your knees to come back together now. Moving really slowly. If you have a block in underneath, you can remove it now. Peeling your spine back down onto the mat. You might bring your feet to about mat with distance apart. Allow your knees to rest against each other. And just stay here feeling the reverberation of the pose. From here you can come into supported bridge pose, so your knees will stay bent, feet can come a little bit closer to each other. You can start by taking one yoga block and just placing it in underneath the tailbone. You might be happy to stay here or you might want to go a little bit deeper by placing a second yoga block in underneath as well. So as always, feel free to fidget and adjust and figure out what works best for you here. Once you're ready, you can tuck your chin slightly towards your chest. We'll pause here for three minutes. feeling the support of the props beneath you, just gently stretching and separating your vertebrae from each other.
will prepare it to come out of bridge pose really slowly. So if you're using two yoga blocks, you can remove just one for now. When you're ready, remove the other yoga block and once again, peel your spine back down to the earth. When you get there, you might be craving different movements, so you can do whatever feels best for you. One suggestion is to bring both of your knees up into your chest and just stretch out your lower back with a hug. from here you might do some windshield wipers bringing both feet back to the ground and gently dropping your knees from side to side For our next pose, if you have a bolster, you're welcome to put the bolster in underneath your hips. Otherwise, you can place a yoga block in underneath, just like we were doing at the beginning of this session. When you feel comfortable, you can stretch your left leg out long and bring your right knee up into your chest. Being really mindful that your body might move differently with that prop in underneath. We're just going to stay here for about a minute. Gently opening up through your groin, stretching through this right hip joint. You might rotate through this right ankle, just making little circles. Moving in both directions. When you're ready, you can release that right leg back down and take your left knee into your hands. And same thing again here, very mindfully opening up through the opposite side of your hip now.
And again, you can circle through your right ankle. Left ankle, apologies. And now that left foot can return back to the ground. You can remove your prop from in underneath your hips. Roll those vertebrae back to the earth. Pausing when you're there, just to feel how the body feels. Now you can roll yourself up into a temporary seat. We're going to set ourselves up for our next pose, which is supported fish pose. So for this pose, you can have a yoga block in underneath your chest. And then there's an option to have a yoga block for your head here. You might rest it onto your head like so. Or if you don't have a second yoga block, you can always use a cushion. If you're using a bolster today, it can be nice to have the bolster in underneath your knees. So as always with our yoga blocks, we have options. Having your yoga block on its smallest setting will of course give you a less intense opening. If you do feel as though you want something a little bit deeper, you can have it on this medium setting. For now, I'm gonna go with something less intense. So when you're ready to come back down onto your yoga block, you want to align the edge of the yoga block with just in underneath your shoulder blades. And then from there, you can bring the crown of your head onto the mat or just rest your head onto that second yoga block. Legs are spread wide apart, arms are away from the body with the palms facing up. We'll hold here in supported fish pose for the next three minutes. Really allowing the heart and the lungs to enjoy the space that's being created. And this is also a really great pose to open up your throat.
you can prepare to come out of the pose now, but take your time. First, you might employ your elbows to support your body. Slowly lift your head and prop yourself up. You can remove your block from un in underneath. And then slowly roll back down onto the floor again. Once you're there, sprawling out into corpse pose. Feeling the effects of the pose on your energy and on your body. The next pose that we're practicing today is a reclined twist. If you're working with a yoga bolster, you could place it in underneath your hips now, but if not, we'll just do this pose directly on the mat. You can start by bringing your arms out wide and then bring both knees up towards your chest. The first option is to drop both knees over towards the right, stacking your hips on top of each other. And the second option to go a little bit deeper is to wrap your left arm or left leg around the right. So you're taking one or two twists into your legs. Then from there, stack your hips, left hip coming over the right and drop both knees down towards the right. Wherever you are, make sure both of your shoulders stay on the ground. And if you want to go deeper, you can look over towards the left. Arms can be used here for support, having your palms ever so slightly pressing into the floor. If at any point your arms start to feel tingly or you're feeling that pins and needles sensation, you can just bring them down closer to your body.
wherever you are, you can bring both knees back to the middle. Unravel your legs and rest for a breath or two. We'll take it to the other side now. So both knees come back towards the chest. You're either dropping both knees over towards the left, or this time you might wrap your right leg around the left, finding one or two twists. Stack the hips so the right hip is over the left. Bring your knees towards the left and keep both shoulders down. To go deeper, you can look over towards the right hand. Remember your palms are here to support you. If needed, press them gently into the floor. Now you can untwist everything and make your way back to center. Resting however you feel called to rest. feeling the echo of all of the poses you've practiced.
If you need to release your lower back, you can do so by doing some windshield wipers or maybe hugging your knees back up to your chest. If you have 10 more minutes to spare, I definitely recommend that you click into this 10 minute relaxation. Give your body some more time to absorb all of the benefits of these poses and to relax even more. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. I'll see you tomorrow for day 8, but until then, take good care of yourself, good night and goodbye.